Hey, lightweights, and here's what you can expect from today's episode of The Wolf Among Us. Forgive me, Sheriff, for doubting your acumen, but who oh. do you think committed <laughs> these like, crimes? He called my bluff! I didn't know we could do that! Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Don't worry, I did the right thing. Are you sure? because he left looking pretty happy. <sighs> Fine, we'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. I don't know. When I catch the fucker who did this, I'll find out why. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. Finally! <laughs> Give I us some answers! I have to say I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry. I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror. We're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Are you really sure you want to see him? You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. just happened. We pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. She's like way powerful so, than I ever would have thought. Let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the crooked man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. <sighs> mirror, mirror, no time to pout. So where does Crooked Man hang out? <laughs> that's pretty good. I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. The door, it moves. Yeah, Jersey mentioned that. Wait a so minute. How do we? I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. But we have to make a commitment to working within the law. I'll <laughs> catch him and bring him back here. A lie. Then we can clean him and cook him together. But what if he attacks me and Good. I have to defend myself? I have Fuck. enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. I don't think you or should somebody. do that. I got no other choice. I feel like trusting us to bring him back alive is a bad idea. <laughs> I don't have the greatest track record. Boom! I huff and I puff and I kick your door in.
<laughs> Sounds like a suit of armor. Oh. Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. What is this place? Or where is it? How did they know I was coming? Central Park anymore. How did they knew I was I'm coming? I'm not sure. I've only ever come in through one of the portals. I don't think you can get in from the actual street. But you can't blame him for wanting to make it hard to find. Why I'm do you work for to him? bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Fine, lead on. Doesn't it sound like a suit of armor walking? Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. Why do you work for him? <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous, especially for someone like you. Why'd you it's have to add that not on? like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is gonna get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. I understand the position you're in, but you don't have to do this. There are other things you could do. So it's just that easy. Maybe not, but you don't want to be a part of this. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Thanks. <sighs> this pisses me off. <laughs> what did I tell you? Stop laughing at me. Oh, Tell me yeah? who the fuck is hey, back there. I ain't scared of you. I, I don't so exactly good. know. I, I, got a I just mind the door. You need the boss is there. He'll come around. I knew that much. And like Crane before him, I'm sure he will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. That won't be necessary. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Oh boy. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. You're desperate. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. And that the way that things are run what in Fable Town is not fair. Sir? We have a great deal to discuss. All right, you got me here. Let's talk. What did we just do? Why did that seem so ominous? <laughs> what the heck? Okay. I've As I said, stories about you. In the this old bitch. days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh. Is coming. And they would wait, hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. Oh, well. <clears throat> what? What? <laughs> okay, I know that the 
the way that things are run in Fable Town is not good for a lot of people. I I can appreciate that and I understand that. But the fact that they still don't realize that the freaking crooked man is taking advantage of them and that he's not a good guy. Like, I know you're desperate for help and that you need to go to him because you have no other choice, but at least understand that he's still a shit guy when you do it. Tim was acting like, oh, he's the only one that will help us. He's this great, amazing guy. Like, what? No, no. Okay, fine. You need his help. And that sucks. I, go to him for help if you need to, but at least know that he's a shithole. Don't ask me what a shithole is. I don't know, but he is one. Freaking shedding. Oy. Anyways, did you send Colin to the farm? Hell no, we didn't. That was like a really even split. Poor Colin. Did you attempt to remove the ribbon? <laughs> Oops. Yes. 39%. Which crooked operation did you investigate first? That's basically a 50-50 split. Did you send Toad to the farm? 50-50 split. How did you respond to the crooked man? You and 17% of players agreed to talk with him first. I told Snow I would. I told Snow I would. Okay. Let's do the rest of the game. I'm skipping this. We'll watch it at the end. Sorry. You've come a long way. You must be tired. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. Got a scotch? Only Tennessee whiskey, unfortunately. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Literally haven't done anything. I'm trying to be friendly. Well, Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You forget what happened at the Pudding and Pie? You and your goons tried to kill me! I'm truly sorry for that whole debacle. It was not my intention to put you or Miss White in any sort of danger. My wish was merely to take Crane, Sheriff. And as soon as the assignment grew out of control, I put a stop to it. Did I you? Know that, that doesn't change what happened to you. And I can only offer my sincerest apologies. Crane wasn't yours to take. I apologize if I overstep my bounds. Won't happen again. <laughs> and I hope you believe me when I say, <laughs> Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late, I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. You really don't need to worry yourself further. I already know who did it. Forgive me, Sheriff, for doubting your acumen, but who oh. do you think committed these <laughs> crimes? He got my blood! It's been a long couple of days for you. Perhaps you've become somewhat unscrewed. It was uh. Mary. <laughs> no, Sheriff. I'm afraid you're mistaken. <laughs> I have complete respect for you and your job. I really do, but I'm sorry. I simply can't I knew it wasn't Mary, but I was a fuck. I don't know. Trying to bluff, not working. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation. Oh, the fucking Tweedles, I swear to God. I should have killed him. <laughs> the man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. You think I'm scared of you? <laughs> You're nothing more That's than a- That's enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. 
However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie. Georgie. You got what you wanted, so just sit down now. That feels too easy. Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, yes. The fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fuck. I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking punts. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with them, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I give a fuck if I'm the one? Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of I here. I do apologize, Sheriff. But I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. <sighs> what are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all go down this shitter with you? I told you! I don't know what to do! Get the fuck away from me! <laughs> He's the one you fucking want. I want the crooked man, but no way in this hell am I getting the crooked man right now. But you just had to complicate things. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? She was just chilling in the mirror? Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you, all fixed up. What the fuck? Oh, boy. Oh, boy, this is not going well. <laughs> It was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Got him! Now! Hold him still! Oh boy. So should I have gone after the crooked man? Game what? How? Did you not see? The A was full! What the hell? I'm mashing here! I can't mash any faster! Wasn't that the same amount of fullness? Oh, good. This way. Why is this bitch frickin- Ugh. Leave him and go after the freaking crooked man! So should I have gone after the cricket man? Like I feel it. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Uh, I know. I know. Why is she? Why is she so keen to help these people? Oh god! The trophy Earth achievement was in the wrong spot. I was not paying attention. What 
is that bar? What is that bar at the bottom? Oh, God. We are not in glamour right now. How are we gonna explain this? Well, I guess it's New York City. People don't really question that sort of thing. <laughs> Just another day in the city. <laughs> what movie are they filming now? Oh, left trigger. Shit. I don't know why, but I always want to do right. What is that little bar at the bottom? Is that my, like, I lost visual bar? Okay, Big B. Oh, fuck. Ah! Fuck, what was that? That was the big bad wolf. you go here you know what good hiding spot guess I should have gone after the crooked man shit Yeah, we did that. <laughs> this is probably not what Snow meant when she said, follow the law. Come on, we can't stay here. Uh, hang on, I need a minute. Okay. How did this happen, Dark? Can you stand up? Uh, it's okay. Take your time. Slowly. Uh, it's no fucking use. No way I'm walking out of here. Well, it won't be your fault. It'll all land on me in the end. But it isn't. No, it's... Oh. Here. Uh. Fuck. We have to do something, Georgie. Listen, tell me what you know and I'll send the doctor. Easy peasy. We all win. Bigby, I hoped you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh, crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. That it, Sheriff. I had to say goodbyes first. I didn't want to say any of those things. I wanted to say I know it's the crooked man. But I'm not going to get enough? him. Look at him. He's dying. You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure Oops. they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man of murdered- Of course it does. Girl, so it's all my fucking fault then. I you didn't fucking. Mean. Ah. 
You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to! You can't fucking blame me for that. Look, I'm Sometimes just... you just have to do what you're told. Then it comes back to bite you in the ass because some good-for-nothing crooked bastard decides you're not worth shit anymore. Did you expect well, any differently? Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? <sighs> Ooh. Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. <laughs> So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. You're still the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Fine. Believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. You fucking did it! Go ahead and kill me then. <laughs> but it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It I know you didn't have a choice. Marissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. I'm oh, going after oh, the crooked man next, oh, you dingus. Oh. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if freeing Lily meant she had to die, do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? I told you, you don't know the fuck about anything. What are you talking about? This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off, couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet, to ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers. The spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. How could you do this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand. Nobody was supposed to die. When then why'd you have that clause built into it? It was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were gonna be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. How's that working for you? And the crooked man showed up and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... <clears throat> If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her, then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop it. I told you. Sometimes all your options are shit. We'll find another way. She she doesn't have to die. Maybe the witches can... Don't talk can... about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. I wasn't really- You're right. It's your life. I know what I've done. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean- Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them? Then why'd you do Vivian, it? wait. I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them, what I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian! I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian, don't! <gasps> Vivian! <gasps> no! Fuck! No, 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 
know. Why do you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian? Shit. Just... Jesus. Understatement of the century, holy fuck! Vivian, I didn't fucking mean it. I was just... Oh. Well then, this is going great. know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. I'm planning on it. Really fuck him up for me, all right? He's going to worse. Don't worry. Trudy will remember that for the Good. two more seconds he's alive. <laughs> Old foundry by the river, all right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You want to finish me off now? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you want to do, right? That's not who I am. Prove it then. No more games, all right? We both know how this ends. <laughs> Just make it quick. I know what I did. <laughs> Let's not draw this out. What? what? I did it. You're just gonna leave me here. Oh. I won't be a killer, Georgie. Although, aren't we the one who? You selfish bastard. Did that Fuck thing? you. Piece of shit. <laughs> that was just a series of horrible decisions. <laughs> Okay, hold on real quick. We've got um fable updates. What are those two that I missed? What are these? Oh, that's annoying. Oh boy, we got a lot. All right. Bluebeard's money. One might think that Bluebeard donates funds to the Fabletown government for nefarious purposes, seeking special favors, or to have a louder voice in government proceedings. But what he really wants is stability and strength, because, as far as Bluebeard is concerned, Fabletown exists to insulate him from the Monday world. As much as his money can be a sword, it also serves as a shield. The Crooked Lair. I don't know the Crooked Man's original, like, story. Something with, like, the crooked little house and the crooked little mouse, right? I don't remember. I don't know this one. Occupying a desanctified church. This is just one of the many locations the Crooked Man's operation uses to run Fable Town Underworld. Its lounge atmosphere makes for a comfortable meeting place, unless you are an unwelcome guest. It is completely boarded up to the outside world, and the only way in is through one of the many portals marked by a door with the Crooked Man's Catherine Wheel icon scattered throughout the city and elsewhere. The Crooked Man, Crime Lord. The Crooked Man has slowly built himself into the one of the most powerful figures in Fable Town. His operation started with a crooked sixpence and a crooked house. Two things he cared about more than his wife or children, whom he killed, rather than let them stand in his way. In his rise, the Crooked Man has ensnared many fables in his criminal web, providing them with what they need, but always at a high cost. He is cunning, persuasive, and ruthless. Tiny Tim, Sentry. While most fables theorize that their longevity and overall well-being is improved by the Amundi world's knowledge of them, for a select few that does not seem to apply. When a malady or injury is an integral part of a fable story, that notoriety can make recovery nearly impossible. That's what Tiny Tim thinks, at least. And no medical care or magic, rather, oh, or magic, rather, none that he can afford, can heal his leg. 
Vivian's story, The Girl with the Ribbon. Vivian was the very first to bear the curse of the purple ribbon. Removing the ribbon would result in death, and any attempt to talk about it was thwarted by the spell upon it. As time went on, she tried to live a normal life. Eventually, she married a nice man, but he was constantly wondering about the ribbon around her neck. Despite her pleas for him to leave it alone, one night while she was sleeping, he attempted to remove it. As he pulled on the edge of the string, Vivian woke and saw what her husband was doing. In a panic, she pulled away, preventing the ribbon's knot from being undone. Furious, she tried to express the severity of his actions, but her husband was unable to understand. She realized then that she couldn't trust him and decided to leave. She lived alone for the rest of her days in the homelands, preferring the safety of isolation to the risk of another betrayal. The Pudding and Pie, Vivian and Georgie's Place. Vivian and Georgie met during the exodus from the homelands, and they helped each other survive in the long journey to the mundane world. Upon their arrival, however, they found it hard to make a decent living. With what little money they had, they opened the Pudding and Pie. Operating a strip club may not have been the most desirable occupation, but they figured it was better to be in charge of a place like this than be forced through desperation to work at one. Nice. Okay. I'm nervous! Of course. Puny locks got nothing on me. This is where they've been sending these. Just want to make sure, like, it couldn't go. This is going to be so bad. Big B. Wolf. The big bad wolf. <laughs> she has a really good menacing laugh. <laughs> I just want to look at this board. Game. Game. <laughs> Stalking me. They really are stalking me. Shit. Bullets, good. Good. We're toast. The big bad wolf. Where'd she come from? There's no mirror here. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you've made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. 
I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> Cut this shit out! Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? Or was she too busy fucking whatever breeze drifted through town? Are you talking about my mother like that? <laughs> this is just sad. That's not ominous at all. There's no way she's still up here, but I'd prefer to have the high ground. <laughs> I can move. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> it said there's a fable adder. I want to see if it's about Mary to see if it... No, no. Winter Wolf. Bigby's mother, Winter, fell in love with the North Wind and bore him seven wolf cubs, but he quickly grew tired of her and left Winter. Heartbroken and alone, she tried to care for her cubs despite her grief. She was especially fond of Bigby, but as the runt of the litter, he was often teased by his older brothers. After Winter's death, Bigby's siblings went in search of their father, but Bigby stayed behind to protect his mother's corpse from scavengers. Unfortunately, he was too small to defend her. From then on, he vowed to eat something bigger each day until he was large enough to confront his father and finally make him pay for the pain he caused his family. Aww, Bigby. I was hoping it'd be something about Bloody Mary. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck. I thought it was gonna be X again. <laughs> She looks a little different now. Well, hello there. Oh, 
We need a new plan. This is not working, Big B. Tell me we can get bigger. Oh, we're hugging and puffing! was freaking awesome hold on that was so cool i need to process that was amazing that was amazing okay i didn't know he could go full 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 wolf big b's true form is that of a giant eight foot tall wolf in addition to his iconic huff and puff power he has also inherited other abilities from his father the north wind for example bigby is able to hold his breath for an abnormally long amount of time making it impossible for him to drown is that gonna come into play i feel like that's gotta come into play Mary's loyalty, part of the job. Bloody Mary began working for the Crooked Man many centuries ago. He promised her freedom to do as she pleased as long as she agreed to act as his personal bodyguard and hitman. Because of the Crooked Man's power and influence, Mary never had to worry about getting caught by the authorities. She enjoys her job immensely and would defend the Crooked Man to the death, mostly because she finds it fun. That. To quote The Incredibles, that was totally wicked! That was really cool. I like that a lot. If you couldn't tell. <laughs> oh boy. She did. Now let's have a civilized discussion. Hello. Sir. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. Okay. This gun holds six rounds of specially designed silver bullets. Now, I... I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. You plan to do what she says, don't you? That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Are we clear? The whole town will be calling for your execution. Because they're not going to fuck. There. They're not going to. Me worry about that. Because they're all wrapped There's up no in his. For us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny. Coming Stupid promises. Gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those. I just women. hire murderers. I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. If you're not a killer, then what are you? I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind, and decide to do something stupid. You won't get your answers, but you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of them. Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. 
Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. This is about protecting Fable Town. When some asshole murders two of our people, it's my job to bring them down. Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. All right, we don't have another go. choice. Like, I, don't... Over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Hey! I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your this punishment trial will follow. It's not gonna go well. <laughs> this is not gonna go how we want it to go. Oh boy. Oh boy. I know, I know, but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? What is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. Are you okay? Do I look okay, it's been bitch? Hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. At the crooked man's place. Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know. <sighs> I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. The snow is continuing to piss me off. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily! She was my sister! Oh, could you? What do you have to say for Where the yourself? fuck do you get this off? You think you have the right and to just do this me? to people? You're a fucking crook! This. You should fucking be ashamed. Shithole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder As of I Faith and As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not Georgie Porgy. It was Georgie? Georgie. I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? Georgie paid for what he did. In the end, there was a fight, and he bled out from his wounds. It's over. So he's dead? That's what you're saying? I can't believe it was him. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't need change for this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. And I was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And kidnapping Crane at gunpoint. He went willingly. Yes. Thank you. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, 
Like hell you didn't. Stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The Crooked Man has committed crimes against this government, and most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where ground. it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get on but with it But we promised then. you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the you fuck? Really what? This is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. I don't think we have to uncuff him for this. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh. Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This, this is such bullshit! Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually <laughs> believe this bullshit? <laughs> nope. Please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. Yeah, and your goons attacked me. Did you forget that part? They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I've protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man, just to save someone. Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect I you. missed the pop-up up, up there because I was reading. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow <sighs> orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted... That any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners. I was there to look out for you. <laughs> yes, but... Wasn't I? You're the fucking problem here, not us. Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that mattered, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? For the longest time, not much. But they asked me to come work for them. Really? The new deputy mayor wants you on the 13th floor. No. The wolf offered me the job. She wanted my tree destroyed. If she had had her way, I'd be hung out to dry on a clothesline by now. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? I know what you're doing, and it's not gonna work. You can't manipulate us or these people. We're not here to talk oh, about this. Oh, we're not? Big Bay just This is important, and I'm glad it's being talked about. You know why I asked him to destroy your tree. You were working with Crane and the Crooked Man. 
It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Craig. And you hated not going well. This is not going well. And you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a crooked man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. Do you really think the crooked man cared about you? He just cared about your money. He cares about your obedience. They're right. Okay, we got one! <laughs> Even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Did I do something right? Did I do something right? Ah, finally! <laughs> Very good. Very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie place. was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Snow? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just need... Of course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him. Let me just them. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course! Where are you going with this? If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, Shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Twiggy D when he was in your custody? I didn't do anything! He was beaten to mashed apples while I under didn't do your it. watch. Under my watch. Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? That was Bluebeard, not me. He was a murder suspect. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when I that happened. I didn't do that. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends. But they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, I the know... The laws apply when we need them Bluebeard, to... please. What's that supposed to mean? Everyone calm down. This isn't I the mean, reason a certain level here. of privilege should be afforded to... to this is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? I've been good! Who will be the- Bigby? Miss White? Excuse me, I... dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath, little What's mother? she doing here? I'd like to- I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard, 
She has something to say, and we're gonna listen. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just shut you... up! <laughs> you enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. <laughs> but you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. <laughs> I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. Vivian killed herself back at the pudding and pie. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And now I can finally say... You're an asshole. <laughs> I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was always I'm winning the crowd. Georgie would have never done anything without his say so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid At least of the five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Full beard, just shut up. Nobody likes you. Too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. No, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's got to pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. I kind of like that idea. Sure he won't escape. I can help. We'll use magic. That's I assure not good you, enough. Maybe there will be has more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been I don't care. So, so we get rid of him. Get him out of Everyone, listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we. This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Oh, fuck! Sure? <laughs> no! This isn't it's, it's what the people want this one. <laughs> okay. This Mr. is just... Wolf, it's your call. It's no one. Just do what you think is right. Little Miss Snow, we can't murder anybody. Let's throw him down the witching well. Oh, Rip off his head! Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We, can lock we need to be better. We Everyone, need to be better. I'm not this way. I was gonna let you live, you asshole! Oh, fuck. said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you After can't be serious. what he's done, you're just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. All right, do it. Listen, if we kill him, we got all the disenfranchised that have been using him that are pissed at us. We have to show them that we are better, that we're trying to be better. I don't know why I'm yelling at you. I'm heated. Is that him? Who the fuck? When I was 
expecting. Who's that frog Morning, guy? Crooked man. He's got a sharp tongue. I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Thanks, Greenleaf. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Work is work, I guess. Who's that? Who's hey, that? Sheriff. I don't know if you remember me. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you oh. worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? I think I've lost count. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. Why is he wearing a frog hat? Did he used to be a frog? Is he a frog when he's not in? This fucking line. How about we have everybody oh, come in? Uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Is everything okay? You look- I'm- I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, um, Miss White. You're late. So nothing's changed? Are you fucking kidding me? Someone's gonna see you. Colin! Counts like I don't give a shit. <laughs> All the pretty girls walk like this. This. <laughs> Please, someone put that TikTok sound over Colin walking. Okay, hold on, there was updates. You know me, I gotta have my fables. What do we get, what do we get, what do we get? Okay. When a criminal is captured in Fable Town, the traditional procedure is to hold a formal hearing in front of the community or concerned parties. However, exceptions are often made to expedite the process. In reality, there aren't any hard and fast rules for these types of situations, and the extent to which policies are upheld can depend on who is being charged. With Crane out of the picture, Mayor Cole has officially appointed Snow White as the Director of Operations and Deputy Mayor in his absence. Many would say this promotion is a long time coming, since she was instrumental in the establishment of Fable Town and personally ensured that many fables made it to the New World safely. She's also been doing the work of Deputy Mayor unofficially for years. I don't think she's doing a very good job. Why did Bluebeard still get to cut to the front? Why is that line still so long? Can we at least get them some chairs? I don't know. Oh, Gowan, Jesus. What? Why are they going to the farm? We have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. What? You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy <sighs> around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Oh, shit! Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. <laughs> You know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Snow, what the fuck? Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her? Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. I'm sorry, TJ, but... Uh... Look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah, you don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. 
It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. I hate this. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Bigby! Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? I don't know. He, uh, must have run off. Bullshit! Saying goodbye? Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah, why? Yeah, I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's okay. I get it. Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out... I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Narissa, just tell me what happened. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. I was misguided, but you were. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> was that noticed that in a good way or a bad way? Happened, Fuck. But that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us... We're sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I guess... Uh... It's done as done. At least we didn't kill him. He ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of his stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. I walked her over here. You were trying to get my attention. So you... You started all this. I just... Pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... Fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. It's going to be different now, I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I'm gonna try. It seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. 
or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other, and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I just... I go out there, and I do my job. I put my life on the line. I get shot at. I do what has to be done for them. But at the end of the day, I'm still the bad guy. I know. But they'll come around. You'll see. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Forget with the ominous music! I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the little Did mermaid. Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around. Wolf. What the fuck? Wait! 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 What? <laughs> what was all that about? I don't- what am- I'm missing something! Wait, 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 wait. What does that mean? What does that even mean? What did you do to Georgie? 45% of players left him to die. Did you give Crooked Man a trial? You and 67% of players brought the Crooked Man back alive. How did you punish him? You and 40% of players chose to imprison him. Did you accept TJ's gift? 97%? Which assholes were the 3% who turned down his gift? That's just rude. What were your last words to Nerissa? You and 29% of players said, I hope I've done some good here. What does the ending mean? I don't... Oh, no. Beast, you lied to him about seeing Beauty outside the apartment. Beauty, you promised her you wouldn't tell Beast that you saw her outside the apartment. Bluebeard, you fought him after the interrogation. Butcher, you offered him protection at the business office. Colin, you gave him a drink when he asked for in your apartment, and you helped him avoid the farm. Crooked Man, you took him back to the witching well, but you imprisoned him. Faith, deceased. You gave her money right after the fight with the woodsman. Georgie, deceased. You left him to die. And I smashed up his place. I didn't really. I hit one thing. <laughs> Greenleaf, you offered her a job. Gren, you drank with Gren after Lily's funeral. Jack, you made a deal with him. Nerissa, you tried to take off her ribbon. <laughs> Oops. Snow, you brought her along with you to the chip trap. You promised to bring the crooked bad man back alive. Tiny Tim, you chose to wait for him. TJ, you accepted the beetle as a promise to give it to Snow. Toad, you stood up for him when Snow wanted to send to the farm, and you gave him money. And he still hated us. That's the end, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna leave these on just in case there's like a scene, but... Holy shit, I loved that game! I loved that game. I loved that game so much. That was so good! Um, definitely excited to watch the trailer for part two, because that's coming out this year, I think. I didn't watch the trailer because I hadn't played this game, so I didn't care about it. Now I do! Holy shit, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, anyways, I don't know what the ending means. I gotta watch some explanations for that because what does that mean that faith is not actually dead 
that that... I'm confused. Or that she is more to... I don't... I don't know what it means! Okay, so gotta do some research on that. Gotta watch the trailer for part two, because holy shit am I excited for this now. And phenomenal game. Phenomenal game. I'm excited to see what the rest of the achievements are, because I think I want to go after all of those. And I missed some of the fables. I think I missed like two or three. I know for sure I missed two, but I probably missed more than that. But I want to go play again so I can get the other fables, because I got to see what those are. It was so good. It was so good. The story was like, it kept having like little twists and turns. And if you know, if you were just like, if I was a little smarter, I could have figured it out right from the beginning, but then it seemed too obvious. So you're like, ah, oh, that can't be it. So it like just kept you guessing all the time. Even at the end now, I'm still like, wait, what? There's more going on here. There's more going on than I know. Um, I loved all the characters. I know that I had mentioned this at the beginning, but I love that they are actual fables and lore and, you know, that sort of thing. I really want to read these comics, actually. Oh, graphic novels. Is that the same thing as a comic? They're slightly different, right? Hold on. I got to I got to get my hands on these. I got to get I'm going to take a picture of these. I got to get these. Would you guys like a series on these? Because these take place after the game, right? The game takes place before these. I don't know. I don't know. I'm in. I'm all in. <laughs> um, but I like how it was like the original ideas from those fables and then kind of like twisted and added to and made more modern. I thought that was really cool. I liked how there was fables that I didn't really know much about. But then there's also like the recognizable fables like Snow White, The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast. But the way that you know them is not the way that they are in this universe. And I think that's really freaking awesome. And I just loved it. The music was great. I loved the art style. Nothing. Okay. What's under extras? Excuse me. Player choices. Book of fate. Okay. Um, I loved the art style. I loved how it was like the color scheme in it was so cool. Just everything. Mm, chef's kiss. So good. So good. Thank you guys for recommending this game. I'm sorry it took so long. Also, this game was a gift. Um, I was gonna wear my bracelet today. It came with a little bracelet that I needed in a time where I was feeling very down about myself in the channel. So thank you so much. I don't wanna say your names just in case of privacy. I don't wanna um, disclose something you're not comfortable with. But if you actually watched the playthrough, I know you gave me this a long time ago. So I hope you're still around. I hope you watched and I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much. I always wear that bracelet when I need a little pick me up um, cause it still makes me very happy. So thank you so much for all of this. Um, amazing game. You guys weren't wrong. This is great. So now we have to wait till part two. Hopefully not too much longer. I know it's this year, but I don't know when this year. So gotta, gotta now go down the rabbit hole of catching up on that, um, which I'm very excited about. Next, I'm going to be playing the Batman Telltale game. Um, and... I think I'm going to jump right into that because that's another one that people have requested a lot uh, and I do have that. Those were gifted as well. So I will be playing. I think there's two. Is it just one or two? I don't know. I, I've got to look now, but um, I'll be jumping into that next. And I'm also going to be picking up a third game because I usually do three games, but recently I've gotten down to two. Uh, and so you definitely want to make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you don't miss a single thing because we've got some really exciting content coming up on the channel this month. Um, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough as much as I did. I hope you weren't screaming at my choices sometimes or too frequently. Sometimes screaming at my choices is okay. That makes it entertaining, but hopefully it wasn't too bad. Um, overall, I really liked the ending I got. I feel like I got a good ending. I don't know if there's really a bad ending, but I feel like I like my, my choices at the end. Um, but let me know your thoughts. Uh, if you want to explain the ending to me a little bit, feel free to do that as well. Thank you guys so much for going on this adventure with me. I had so much fun and I hope you did as well. Have an amazing day and I will see you for the next playthrough.